Hi, welcome back to Cheyenne, Wyoming Urban Gardener. We're not out in the garden today. This is Debbie. I'm a little bit under the weather today. I've actually been canning so much and doing so much. I think that I've just not been really taking care of myself very well. <laughs> Even though I'm canning all of this food, sometimes I get so caught up in everything that I'm not really doing it the best that I can with myself. But anyway, we are here. I'm going to do a review on some new canning jars that I got. Usually I stick with like Kerr or Ball, um, mostly Ball canning jars, but it's been kind of difficult to find any Ball canning jars and I had literally went through every canning jar that I had. So I had to end up picking up some new canning jars. Well, I ran across these canning jars. I had came across these canning jars. I apologize, I have to keep pausing because my little dogs are barking. I have three toy poodles. And these were at Menards and they were from Anchor Hawking and they have quart jars and pint jars. I'm not sure if they have any of the other jars. I haven't really looked that up yet. This is a little bit of a review on how those are doing. I just finished doing up some chicken bone broth and also some tomato sauce, but I actually used the ball jars for the tomato sauce. And um, this is actually pasta sauce, sorry. It's kind of like a garden ends pasta sauce that I did in one of my prior videos from last year. And then I have some ball jars over here, quart jars, with of course you can see the ball top with the sure tight and all that kind of stuff. Well these are the Anchor Hawking. And so far they have been doing absolutely perfect. I've only had one that failed to seal and I think that one was just actually kind of a my failure thing. Um, I do go through and wipe my rings and, and jars and all that kind of stuff when I'm canning but every once in a while you just have one that fails for no reason and that one just did not seal so I put it in the refrigerator and we used it for one of the next meals that we had. And that was some chicken broth as well. So I just pulled these out of the canner just a few minutes ago and they are sealing. I've been hearing a couple of pops every once in a while, but um, they have been going for a long time. So actually the contents in the jars is boiling itself. So it won't seal for a little while. Once they start cooling down, they will completely seal. Some of them have already sealed. And then I have some more in the canner right now. Now I am doing a controversial method of water bath canning my chicken bone broth but how I do that is that I do it for three hours. So we set the timer you can see here the timers on right now and counting down. It is actually boiling even though you're only seeing a bubble every once in a while. Um, the water is actually boiling it's just the canner is so large it'll be up at a rolling boil in just a few minutes and I always let mine run about 30 minutes past the timer anyway so it will be right at three hours when we get these pulled and everything that's inside of the jars will be boiling as well now this is chicken bone broth that has been cooked already prior to this um, for over 48 hours in a roaster so we use all of our bones from a rotisserie chicken and we just throw them into the roasting pan and we fill it with water. We actually had 14 jars, 14 quart jars of chicken bone broth this time around. I've done this method so many times and it does just perfectly fine. And we put it in for three hours in the water bath canner. Um, every once in a while I do pressure canning. It's just choice of whatever you want to do at the time. So this happens to be it because I was already doing some tomato sauce or, or the pasta sauce. And I actually put the pasta sauce in with these canning jars um, into the same uh, canner, but I pulled the pasta sauce at about an hour in instead of waiting the three hours because of course pasta sauce is high acidity anyway. Um, and I always add lemon juice to all of my canning, even my chicken bone broth, because you don't actually taste it. And um, it does raise the acidity content of the, what is in the jars. And of course there's canning salt in every single one of these, not very much, because I've actually cut down quite a bit of the salt. And you don't even have to really can with salt. You can 
do it without it as long as you're pressure canning. In that instance, you would want to pressure can any type of uh, meat product, bone broths and things like that. You would definitely want to use um, the canning salt and do the, the regular methods and then pressure can. If you're not adding any salt in, you would definitely want to pressure can. So we've got that done. And then we have some apple cider here that I did a couple of days ago. And of course that has lemon juice in it as well. And these were, were made from apple peels and apple cores. And it turned out absolutely beautiful. We actually have a cinnamon stick in every single one of these jars of apple cider. And we have it mold spices in it. And it is delicious. We tried it before we actually went ahead and put it in. And I did do these for three hours as well, just in case. So we have that in there. And then I would suggest when you open your jars, if you choose to do this method, again, I'm not promoting the method because that's up to you. It's more of a rebel canning type of method. And then you would definitely want to pour the contents into a container and cook it for or boil it for at least 20 minutes at a rolling boil just to make sure that there's no bacteria or anything like that or any of those spores. You would kill those with boiling it for 20 minutes. So we have that. And then we have some apple butter here that I made. And then also some apple sauce. So we've done a lot of apple products. We've done a lot of tomato based products. And we've done a chick, uh, our chicken bone broth. And then we're actually gonna start moving into making soups coming up next. So that's another one I haven't tackled in a long time, many, many years. So we will take you along for that process as it happens. But right now, this is what we're dealing with so far. So like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for notices on new videos as they come out. And we'll see you in the next one.